The idea of Summerhill. The author is A.S. Nill. The Summerhill was founded in 1921 by A.S. Nils. It is nestled in the village of Leaston, Suffolk, England, 100 miles from London, nestled next to the nearby ocean. In the late 60s, Nils' success at Summerhill was finally recognized. He was awarded honorary degrees from the universities of Newcastle, Exeter, and Essex. The students at Summerhill have the philosophy is to allow freedom from the individual, each child being able to take their own path in life. The children from 5 years old to 15 years old are generally around 25 boys and 25 girls. They often leave around the age of 16 or 17 years old, choosing to which they want to start their career or go off to a university. In the current time when this article was written in 1960, there were five Scandinavians, one Hollander, one German, and one American. The children are housed in age groups with a house mother for each group, the intermediate sleep in stone buildings, the seniors sleep in huts, and very few are housed in their own bedroom. So what is Summer Hill like? The lessons are optional. There's a timetable, but only for the teachers. The classes are arranged according to their age, according to their interests. The methods of teaching are, this is a quote, they do not believe teaching in itself matters very much. A child that wants to learn long division will go on to learn long division no matter what. Children can come and go as they please at Summerhill. There are often strangers to the idea of freedom in school and the government in nearby towns and in England near Summerhill. Some of the reactions from people were, if I had been sent to a school like that, I'd never have done a thing. Such children will feel themselves handicapped when they have to compete against children who have been made to learn and what kind of madhouse where children play all day and do what they want to? The class lessons and examinations, there's no class examinations in the school. Some are given, but only for fun, such as, what are the following, Madrid, Thursday Island, and my pocket screwdriver? The Summerhill staff is always qualified to teach to the set standards given to those going on to the universities. But quote, my staff and I have a hearty hatred of all examinations and are not giving. This is an outcome of one student that went on after attending Summerhill. Jack left the school at the age of 17 to go on to engineering school. He was asked what he got from attending Summerhill. He said the school gives him a complete feeling of self-confidence and a feeling of equality. Jack often failed his exams because of his hate for learning and through a book but Summer, Summer Hill has made him into a successful engineer. There's very many equal rights at Summer Hill as they're one main point of the story. Everyone has equal rights. However, no one is allowed to walk on Neil's piano, which is the founder. He's not allowed to borrow a boy's cycle without permission, likewise. Neil is the boss. The children know that. If the house caught on fire, the children would run to me, Neil said. The children do not fear the staff. If a child of nine breaks a window with a fall, he'll go tell the nil without fearing the results of his punishment. There's no arousing in the wrath at Summerhill. There's no moral indignation. The boy, now, would pay for the window, but without fearing of being lectured and punished afterwards. Frequent visitors often ask, how can you tell who's the staff and who's the pupil? This is often the thing at Summerhill. It's true, the feeling of unity is strong when children are approved of. The most welcome visitors are those that have good tales to tell and one, ones of adventures. Those that aren't allowed, or those that are attending, or visitors who spout the theory are often left alone and not talked to. There's a quote by A.S. Nils. His full name was Alexander Sutherland Nil. He was born in 1883 and died in 1973. The school was founded in 1921 and most recognized in the 1960s. Here are the quotes from Neil's past life. The function of a child is to live in his own life, not the life that his ancient parents think he should live, nor a life according to the purpose of the educator who thinks he knows what is best. 
All this interference and guidance on the part of adults only produces a gener generation of robots. You cannot make children learn music or anything else without to some degree converting them into willless adults. Summerhill continues to be an influential model for progressive democratic education around the world. It's founded in 1921 and still exists today.